I think I'd have to start with knowledge, that if you bring a knowledge of the business or the nonprofit that you're in, but I'm talking operational knowledge, deep knowledge, the kind of knowledge that puts you shoulder to shoulder with the people who are running whatever institution we're talking about, and knowledge of the issues, knowledge of the constituencies that are outside the organization that affect the organization, some experience with problem solving. If you bring that kind of knowledge to the table, I think you start off in a strong leadership position. Secondly, I would say, uh, maybe even first, integrity. If, if you are perceived to be speaking authentically from your own set of values, if, if what you're doing is based on what is really true as opposed to perhaps what people would like to think is true or wish were true, if you talk from a base of truth and, and honest values, uh, and personal integrity and don't wishy-washy around in terms of what is true and you have conviction about it, then I think that's the second thing that's a critical aspect. Uh, third, I would say that um, the unique thing the PR person brings to the table is the outside view. Uh, my career, for example, was very much based on being what I call an insider-outsider. So the capacity to identify with and care about the institution, the company, the cause, but not so much that you are so captured by it that you forget what the broad outside public is thinking about it, what your opponents think about it, what people with various interests think about it, so that you can bring that to the table. That is absolutely crucial. And I guess if I thought of one more, it would be um, guts. Uh, if you need the courage to stand up for what you think needs to be done, what the solution is, what the option is, if you don't have that, you'll get crushed. <laughs> By, uh, by the operating people who have their own very often narrow view of, of what is required.